from days of long ago. From uncharted regions of the universe comes a legend. The legend of Voltron, defender of the universe. A mighty robot, loved by good, feared by evil. As Voltron's legend grew, peace settled across the galaxy. On planet Earth, a galaxy alliance was formed. Together with the good planets of the solar system, they maintained peace throughout the universe. Until a new horrible menace threatened the galaxy. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe. On a savage planet, surrounded by mists and vapors, stands the Castle of Doom, where King Zarkon reigns supreme. I have conquered a thousand galaxies with my fleet of doom. What have you done that can compare with that? Nothing! I am disappointed in you, Cossack. Bitterly disappointed. <clears throat> hey! Yes, sir! Don't try to sneak away, and don't deny it either. You slink around here like a little weasel. I don't do that, sir. Liar! Please, if you just let me prove myself to you. I don't know why, but I'll give you one more chance. And I mean, one. What? Mm. Uh, Prince Lotor, I didn't know you were here. Hey, wait a minute. Wait? Why should I wait for a miserable worm like you? My father thought he could replace me with you? What a fool. Soon, I'll get rid of the old meddler. And you! No, Prince Lotor, I've done nothing to hurt you. I swear it. You squirm so well. <laughs> Please, don't tease me. Tease? I've never been more serious. This throne will be mine. What a repulsive laugh you have, old witch. Oh, thank you for the compliment, sire. Compliment? Yes. Hagar, I don't have time for games today. Very well, then. Let's get to the point. I have discovered a quarry of lithified moonstone. Why should I care about a bunch of rocks? <laughs> Son of mine, once and for all. <laughs> he wants to get rid of me. I can't believe it. Believe it, Doctor. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. On the peaceful planet Aris, 
the Castle of Lions stood in the sunlight, hosting a very special guest, an envoy from Galaxy Garrison who had just arrived. In his honor, a great party was underway. Thank you all for welcoming our special guest. We've always been loyal to the Galaxy Alliance. Now they've sent us a general. Yes, I was sent here to help you by taking command of the Voltron Force, something that should have been done long ago. Your space explorers are very young. They need a mature leader to take control. Take control? Of course, Pidge. The leaders at Galaxy Garrison are all experts in space science. That's true, Princess. And we always assign someone to conduct operations on each planet. I know. We've been waiting for your arrival for a very long time. Well, now you're here, and we're all very happy. Yay! 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 Fireworks later. Boy, she sure looks pretty, doesn't she? Uh huh. Yow! So pretty. Is that all you can say? Hey, that mouse has an apple. That's my apple. Shudder. I should have known. Hey! Hey! Come back here, you sneaks! Uh oh. Sorry, Nanny, but I gotta catch Cheddar and those mice. So, they're having a party. Yes, and they're all having a great time. It's extremely irritating. Well, why don't you use your robies to stop them? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Come back. Hey, come back and fight like a mouse. You think you're so smart? Fireworks for the party, and they scared the mice. Hello there. Anybody home? Wake up. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, General, I, I was just trying to catch those mice. Chasing mice? That's no way for a pilot to behave. But they're my friends, uh, sort of. <laughs> oh, great powers of darkness, sustain me now, for I have evil deeds to do. <sighs> Come along, kitty. <laughs> Thank you, Princess. She's been dancing with him the whole time. I know, and I've been practicing my dance steps all week. Oh! <laughs> Look, here she comes. Maybe she wants to dance. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. Boy, do I feel like dancing. Mm. Ah. With Koran. Oh, no. Oh, Koran, you dance so well. <clears throat> I can't believe it. I gotta eat something. I'm already eating my heart out. Face it, the princess probably just didn't want to get her toes stepped on. Worried about dancing at your age? You should be a training. But General, we do train. We do so many drills, we're all drilled out. It's not enough if you want to grow up to be real pilots. What do you mean, real pilots? We're the best pilots in this part of the galaxy. That's hard to believe, considering how young you are. Oh, I know you've managed to make Voltron work. Work? Wait till you see Voltron. He's stupendous. That's another thing. You use Voltron much too much. But we need Voltron to protect planet Eris. Now that I'm here, that won't be necessary. I'll use military strategy. Voltron will be left on the shelf. Huh? No Voltron? Lotor will have us for lunch. Voltron is obsolete. But we gotta have Voltron. Stop it. I insist on order. Order? I'll have a hamburger, french fries, and a cherry soda. That's not <laughs> funny. Now I want to check your control room. You can't run it. And why can't I? 
My boy, they haven't invented the control system that I can't operate. All right, then. Follow me, sir. But don't say I didn't warn you. I'd like to be left alone here, if you don't mind. Okay by me. Knock yourself out. It's part science and part King Alphor's magic. I'm going back to the party. Kids today. Hey, Pidge! What gives? This general guy thinks he's gonna run the control room. Maybe you should talk to him. Uh. All right. General, we know you're gung-ho to take control. But we haven't been doing such a bad job of guarding this planet, you know. Pidge is right, General. This place is locked up so tight a mouse couldn't get past. Now, my pet, it's time. <laughs> After these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. <laughs> this will be so much fun, I can't stand it. Forget the fun, Hagar. Show me the moon pod. There it is, sire. Very nice. It has an evil look that appeals to my artistic nature. I copied it out of a book. <laughs> ah, it must be some kind of attack. Don't worry, I'm here to handle it. Oh, we're not worried, General. Good, just follow my orders. Yes, sir. We better get the princess. I'll signal her. Koran, I'm getting some kind of alert signal. Don't alarm the guests. Finish the dance. Koran, I hate to just leave the party like that. You know, maybe that alarm was just a mistake or something. What do you think? It's our job to protect this planet. Yes, but it is nice to have some fun once in a while. I didn't even get a chance to dance with the boys. Oh, well, maybe next time. Okay, as soon as the princess gets here, we'll be able to form Voltron. There will be no Voltron. Huh? Follow my instructions to the letter. I'll show you how it's done. Save a lion for me, boys. Huh? I'm on my way. They're used to doing things their own way. Well, they'll have to learn some discipline then. And please, don't interfere with my orders. Betty wins. <laughs> Be Hagar. Yeah, you're right. Doesn't she have anything better to do? On planet Doom? Hagar, you creep! An attack! Sarkon again! Why don't they leave us alone? Everyone, stay calm. We are under attack. <gasps> the robot lions have been launched, and our new general is in command, so you have nothing to worry about. Take shelter and wait further instructions. 
Where are you going? We got a signal, so we thought we'd circle around. Don't think, just follow orders. I want you to fly directly at that signal in a staggered formation. Do you understand my instructions, Captain? Yes, sir. We're turning around. Staggered formation? Is he crazy? There it is! We almost flew right into it. Open fire! They're doing very badly. <laughs> Losing their touch. Needle attack! Astro cannon! Lion claw! Nothing we've got even makes a dent. We've got to form Voltron. What's this? As your commanding officer, I forbid you to form Voltron. But we have to, General, or else we're sunk. <laughs> We've lost Green Lion. Pitch! Green Lion! Come in, Green Lion! Running away, my little blue pet? I always knew you were a coward. But no matter, I can feel the powers of evil surging through me. <laughs> Moonstone, moon pod, moon of strife. Make my moon beast come to life. It's a row beast. All right, we'll use a starburst attack. One lion make a frontal assault, the others hang back. Okay, team. You heard him. But he's wrong. He's in command. We've got to obey. Well, if somebody's got to go, it's going to be me. No, Hunk. It's too dangerous. I'm team leader. I'll go. Nice try. See you later. It's too tough for them. I knew it. They're just too young. I gave them a perfect strategy, and they're still losing. They'll have to be replaced by older pilots. It's not them, General. I'm afraid it's you. Let them fight their own way. Are you saying a bunch of children know better than I? Yes. <laughs> General, you've made a grave mistake. Those boys are our finest pilots. But, sir... You're relieved of command, General. Let Keith take over. <laughs> We're putting you back in command. All right. We're already two lions down, but I'll do the best I can. Uh, uh, I must have been knocked out. I've got to help the team. The key. Where is it? No. I can't do anything. Don't bother me now, Cheddar. Hey, you got the key! All right! Now, my lovely moon beast, time for dinner! And the main course is Black Lion! I'm coming, Keith! And I'm here, too! All right, the team is back! Let's form Voltron! Activate interlock! Dynatherms connected! Infracells up! Mega thrusters are go! Let's, Let's go, go Voltron Force! Form feet and legs! Form arms and torso! Team, there he is.
Lion head attack! Return! Look out! Sword! as the glass in that crystal ball, old witch. This is all your fault, you miserable creature! Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. It's a good thing the Voltron Force was here to protect us. <laughs> it's lucky, all right. Oh, they look so cute in their uniform. Oh, and don't forget about the mice. Oh, that hog is so big. We'll miss you, General. Thank you. We've all learned something today. You can't blame a person because they are too young or too small. Everyone must be given a chance to prove themselves by their own deeds and actions. <laughs> I underestimated you, boys. You're a great asset to the Galaxy Alliance. And I owe you a special apology. Congratulations. That day, the Voltron Force was designated as a special fighting unit and given its own place of honor in the Galaxy Alliance. But once again, the people were safe thanks to Voltron, defender of the universe. I'm surrounded by fools and imbeciles. There's the disturbance on our slave planet, Yadel, and nobody can tell me what's going on. And no word from you, old witch? Yes, sire. I've consulted my magic crystal, and I see the picture on planet Yadel very clearly. The planet is some distance away, and you've been neglecting it lately. The people have begun to believe you no longer have any interest there. They haven't felt your firm hand. And so, they are preparing to declare themselves a free world. They are thinking of declaring a day of independence, and they intend to invite the mighty Voltron there to share the glorious moment with them. They're going to invite Voltron here to help celebrate our independence. Will we come? I hope. Such an honor. We'll join the Eris in the Alliance for Peace, and Voltron will protect us. We won't have to worry about Sarkhan and his evil empire anymore. Good news! Yes. We are blessed. That's treasonous. I never promised that miserable planet its independence. Rebellion. I want it crushed now! Father, we'll smash that revolt quickly. We're going to destroy Voltron when he comes to visit them. I said destroy. Look! What is that? An exact duplicate of Voltron, but better. Built from stolen blueprints. There may be hope for you yet. It's got computerized circuits, built-in weapons, and magnified speed. This Voltron will reach planet Yadel first. I've provided a glamorous touch by darkening the circles under his eyes. The people of Yadel will welcome him with open arms, and then we'll welcome the real Voltron. Preparations ready, sir. We can now invite Voltron. Excellent. The invitation must be warm and personal. Security is involved. Governor, please, sir. 
And who are you, young man? I'm Bobby. I met the people of Voltron when they came to help us. They know me. Let me go to invite Voltron. That's why I'm here, sir. They'll know I'm a friend. Please, sir. Very well. Hmm. But Zarkon is spread an electric barrier around our planet. You must give Voltron this device. It will allow him to pass safely through. Yes, I'll deliver it. I promise you that. Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. We say goodbye to fascinating planet Juno as we board our spaceship for home. Another thrilling visit into space. Why do you guys always want to travel on? Well, that's the show. No Zarkon or Lotor. No excitement. <laughs> Prepare to receive him. Be lively. Voltron arrives too early, and with an escort. That's strange. Voltron always stands alone. Thank you, 
reputation of Yadel is now secure, yes, but you still must cope with Voltron. I'll handle him, old witch. Attention, all robots. Bury our duplicate Voltron in the sand. Position yourselves for surprise attack when the real Voltron arrives. He will end in battle with his double. to see it, and Radar won't be able to pick it up either. There has to be a way to warn Voltron, to signal him. How? Nothing for a fire. Sand. Letters in the sand. Dig, Voltron is doing a minute. Zarkon laid down. Maybe. Or solar winds. We're quite a distance away. We can try to make contact again after we take off. Speaking of taking off, let's get the lions. after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. This is the device the governor told me to give you, Keith. It will neutralize the electric barrier Zarkon has set up. Thanks. the trick. I'll try to contact our planet again. The governor should be standing by. Theodore Control, please acknowledge. Don't sit there like a dummy. Answer! Say something! Gator. 
Digital Control, Voltron. We read you. Welcome. They are waiting for us, sir. Voltron sends best wishes to Yadel. Are we clear to land? A reception awaits you. Thank you. Rockets down for descent. Perfect. If they don't see this, Voltron's done. Keep going. The X in the courtyard is your landing site, Keith. Got it. Here comes Voltron to the Valley of Doom. Somebody's flagging us. That's an SOS dug in the sand. It's Labby, my friend. Something's wrong, Captain. If it's Zarkon, you can bet we're in his gun sights. He'll open fire if we peel out of this landing pattern. We'll pretend to land. The real Voltron! Don't you see my warning? Don't land! Turn away now, quickly! Voltron's hour is here! This is no noisy welcome. Huh? No sign of people. Hey, there's an armed robot! The SOS was right! I beam! <laughs> They knew! Voltron is on to us! Oh. A security leak! Man the gun turrets! Concentrate laser fire! Melt him down to a puddle! Evasive footwork as you fire! Now, straight at him! Can't you fools track the target? Don't depend on those robots! It's time Voltron met his equal! Waken wind blow! Look, what is happening? I have a very strange feeling about this. Is that our reflection? Another Voltron? I don't like how it's squared off. We'd better make the first move. Prepare to launch Stingray missiles. Timing down, here goes. I hope your Voltron has more to it. He has everything the real one has, and more! My magic and a thinking monitor! Now he's doing more thinking than fighting! You scoff at my wizardry, but watch how he reads every electrical impulse transmitted inside Voltron! His chest monitor can override robot instructions! He can't be fooled! Ignite lion torches! Excellent! Simply allow Voltron to exhaust weaponry, alert for laser fire, and flip rocketry. Frustrate enemy, this will draw attack. At close range, you will then destroy Voltron. Proceed. Stingray missiles! Missile intercept. I don't get it. That thing's ahead of us. The red light will be destroyed. Got everything we've got. Use Electro Force Cross! Counter I beams. Repeat, surrender will be destroyed. Lightning force. Too accurate. Lion torches. 
is! Now activate ultimate fusion beam. Circuits! Direct aerial assault! Stingray missiles! Attack! Instructions received. We'll now destroy. This is a moment I've long awaited. <laughs> Continue destruction. Stop this one, Hulk! <laughs> More blazing sword! It's the best we've got. Let's go! Activate sword, neutralizer. Neutralized, go. <laughs> Always one move ahead of us. Beating Voltron, how can it be? Please stop it. Voltron is strong. He will rise. He will win. Hey, team, that imitator beats us to the punch by intercepting our signals. So let's just cut our energy source and disassemble. All units, de-energize. Red and green lions, prepare to detach. <laughs> As Voltron quits! Don't count on it! Coming! Enemy signals dead. I do not receive. Repeat! Do not repeat! Destroy! Destroy what? Enemy gone! Repeat! Signals! Repeat! Repeat! He's coming apart! They're separating into the lions! My Voltron wasn't programmed to fight the lions! No signals, no repeat, enemy, no repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay, team, it's totally out of control. Now, send Blazing Sword with Electro Force Cross. Okay, Hunk, disarm him. Now, go! Voltron will be back after these messages. Now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. We did it! Voltron did it! The bad one is gone! Our planet is free! Voltron has run! We Next time, I'll produce the five lions, too! If you're still around! For now, we'll retreat before Voltron gets any ideas about us. We honor those brave ones who fight for independence. And people everywhere know the one they can always count on to ensure that right. Voltron, defender of the universe!